Hi everybody. So in this video we learn how to select rows uh, with uh, spare brackets in the same way as uh, in the last lesson we learned how to select uh, columns with spare brackets. However, by selecting uh, rows with spare brackets, and this is actually not advisable and I show you in this lesson and the next lessons that there are better alternatives um, to do this. However, pandas is a complex topic and for, for many tasks um, there are many ways to do it. And in most cases, um, there are good ways uh, to do something and uh, there are very bad uh, ways to do something that are also dangerous and can lead to mistakes. So with uh, large data sets, with uh, hundreds, thousands or millions of rows, you even do not get aware that you have done something wrong or something which was actually not your intention. And I think it's also important to show you the pitfalls and make you aware of potential problems in order to prevent you from making mistakes that are actually not necessary. So first of all, as always, let's import pandas and we import our Titanic dataset and we check in the first rows. And now we assume we want to select um, only the very first passenger here with um, the row label zero. And in the same way as uh, with columns, we just try to select our first row here by passing our row label zero within the spare brackets. And let's see what we get here. And we get here an error message, key error zero. So actually Python does not know if you want to select a row or column and it uh, searches for the column label zero. And uh, there, there is actually no column within the column label zero. And consequently Python uh, drops us here an error message. But what we can do here, actually, we can make a trick and slice from uh, 0 to 1. And let's see what we get here. So we get here the first passenger with some um, index label 0. And yeah, actually, this works in the same as uh, slicing a list or a NumPy array in a so-called position-based slicing. So the starting point is uh, including and uh, the ending point is excluding. So we are slicing our data frame from the index label zero including until the index uh, label one excluding. And in this way we can make different uh, slices here. So we can also slice, let's say from three to five. So we would expect to have uh, the row with index label three and four and excluding five. And that's correct. And we can also slice for the very first 10 rows here. So the very first 10 rows, excluding the row with index label 10. So we get here from zero to nine, and this is actually the same as having here the head method. And applying 10, so give me the first 10 rows. So from zero to nine. And of course we can also slice the very last 10 rows. So we can slice from minus 10 till the very last row. So here you can see the last 10 rows. And as before, applying the tail method uh, with n equals 10 would give us um, the same results. So this was a quick overview over slicing rows um, with the spare brackets. And as I said before, um, this is not a good way to do it. So we will see in the next lessons how to do it in the correct way. So hope to see you there. Bye.